Today, I'm changing this summer wreath over to a fall wreath. I'm starting with some wire cutters and I'm just going along and I'm cutting off all of the summer flowers as close to where they were glued on as possible. I'm doing this for a few reasons. First of all, I didn't have a lot of extra money to buy a wreath. And secondly, I wasn't actually seeing anything in the store that I loved. And lastly, I wasn't in love with this wreath to begin with. I think I bought it at Joann's Fabrics and I know I got it at like 75 to 80% off. So it was very inexpensive to begin with. So I'm, as I said, I'm cutting off all these flowers and I'm gonna be saving those. I might be able to use them in a future project in the spring. This video is part of a group collab hosted by Heidi Sambol DIY. I'll have her channel linked in my description box below. This is a group collab, so there's going to be lots of ideas if you click on the playlist that I'll put in my description box. All of the DIY projects will be either Thanksgiving or fall themed. If you're either new here or someone who's here from Heidi's channel or is here from that playlist, I'd like to extend a special welcome. My name is Karen and my channel is This Mainer Mom and I love to bring real life help for when life gets real in all areas of home management. On my channel, I like to do a monthly DIY and I also have lots of cleaning, organizing, recipes, homeschool help, and lots and lots of encouragement to help you as you keep your home. I would love it if you would consider subscribing and stick around and I would love to get to know you better. I hope you'll give me a little greeting in the comment section so I can talk to you personally. Now that I have all of the flowers off my wreath, it's time for some fun. You'll notice I left the greens and one yellow flower because I thought that would go with the fall theme. I have these strings of leaves that I got at the Dollar Tree. I have one that's yellow, and then you'll see I also have one that is orange. And the part I hate about it is that the leaves are too far spaced apart. So there's just too much plastic stem. So I'm cutting these with my wire cutters, and I'm leaving just a little bit of that plastic stem so I can push that into my wreath, and I'm attaching it with my glue gun. I don't really have a big plan here that I'm aiming at. I'm just going around the wreath and I'm doing what looks pretty. And so I set it down, I see how it looks, and if I like how it looks, I glue it in. Now that I have one layer of the yellow leaves, I'm getting started with my orange leaves. You can find these leaves at many different craft stores, but I found that the Dollar Tree ones were just as good as any other, especially since I'm cutting them apart and getting rid of the long plastic stems.
with the leaves down, I've decided to put in some pine cones and I just went outside in my front yard and gathered them underneath our pine tree. This is definitely an advantage of living in the pine tree state. So, so far I've only used $2 on my wreath. If you don't have pine cones near your home, they definitely sell them in craft stores and I bet you could find them at either a Dollar General or Dollar Tree. You'll notice I am trying to be a little bit symmetrical. I'm gluing the pine cone down on the curve. They all have a curve where the stem is and that gives me a little bit to tuck into the wreath, but I'm liking the fact that they kind of stick out and give the wreath a lot of depth. I found this bow at Michael's and it was on sale and it was actually cheaper than buying the ribbon I would have needed to make one. So I thought that's a great deal and that's one less thing I have to do and I just love the colors. It only costs $4. I have a video where I do outdoor fall decorating with this very wreath. If you'd like to watch that, I'll have it linked at the end of this video as well as in my description box below. I love this bow, but I really like the pointed edges, so I'm just giving it a quick snip with my scissors. I got this cute pumpkin pick at the Christmas tree shop for $1.50. So I'm just deciding where I want that place. Of course, it has that long stick that I can stick into the wreath and then I will glue it down as well. I just love participating in this collab. I always love them. It really pushes me outside my comfort zone. I used to do a lot of crafting years ago and I just don't do as much anymore. So this was really great. And I'd really like to thank Heidi Sonball for hosting this collab and if you would like to see the entire playlist I'll have it linked again in my description box below. Let me know in the comments if you might be inspired by this to change up one of your wreaths. Here's my finished wreath and I really really love it. I'll see you in my fall outdoor decor video and remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time.